Summer is almost over. Fall is right around the corner. It's not too late to still go swimming or find a creek to walk through. It's really important. You should actually go do it now and I'll tell you why. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video by Pan Society. I'm Sherry and today I want to talk about the amazing energies of water. So we know that water is life. We have to drink it to survive. Tribes and other cultures have spent their times in the early days looking for sources of water, making their camps around them, building their settlements around them. They've even gone so far as to look for specific types of trees because they knew those trees grew near sources of water. So besides being life, water is refreshing. It's cooling, it's cleansing and purifying. We all use them in different rituals, whether it's baptisms, cleansing before a ritual, or even just to relax because water can take away stress and pain. So what I wanna do is I wanna focus on those energies of water. We have time to do it every day and we've been spending the last couple of weeks following the phases of the moon, the year. So I want to give another um, task to you if you choose to accept of observing the energies of water. And if you look at it, you're always gonna find whether it's a fountain <laughs> or a creek bed, a river, a still pond, um, even the rivers that flow through the mighty canyons, all the bodies of water have different energies. And that's because it's based on what's um, surrounding them as well, the people that go through them, what lives in the area. So I want to give you a chance to get in tune with those. Um, if you can find a body of water near you, it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have, you know, it's your choice or what's available. Take a journal with you and also take maybe an offering for the body of water that you're going to be in it or the area that you're going to spend time in. Take an offering for the energies and the creatures that live there and also ask permission before you start delving in. Um, taking a new approach to probably a same swimming hole that you've always used, but now honoring the um, spirits that live there. But while you're there, after you've given your offering and you've asked permission and you've been granted permission, spend some time there. Put your toes in. Feel what's going on. Um, delve into your soul. Delve in deep and, and soak in those feelings and express them on the paper. And then revisit this place later and see if it's the same feeling, see if it's the same energy. Things change and evolve and grow. We do, the bodies of water do, the spirits around them, the energies around them change. So it's always nice to be conscious and aware of that. And then also notice your mood before you go, because maybe you're in a terrible mood or it's just been one of those days, but then you go to the creek you know, at the bottom by your house and you put your toes in the water, your feet in the water, and then all of that is gone. You just hang out there for a couple minutes and the water is taking it all away from you. So what I would like for you to do, if you choose to, is, is explore that. Explore that feeling with water, explore that energy and see what it does for you and see if it changes during certain times. And then if you choose to, keep a journal and then see if that changes for you. If you've already done something like this or had an experience, comment down below, let us know, or join us on the Facebook group and share with us. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time in the next Pam video.